all right so in this video we'll talk about markdown markdown is an easy way to format plain text documents you use a special syntax to format parts of your document just as how you would in microsoft word and then such documents would appear well formatted on places like github and in markdown editors and viewers as you can imagine this is useful for writing out documentation instructions and any other important document without the need for a vendor locked application or a format such as microsoft word markdown is free open source and thus can be read in programmatically if needed for quickly creating formatted content this website markdownguide.org has everything that you need to understand and get started with this language it's actually very simple to work through if you go through the cheat sheet here or the basic syntax you'll find that it's it's amazingly simple to work with so let's quickly work through an example in vs code to get started right so i have uh, vs code let me just bring it up and the first thing that you should do before you you know work with markdown is install one of the extensions that makes it really easy for working with this syntax so just go into the extensions tab uh, search for markdown and uh, you should see the markdown all in one extension by yu zhang uh, just install this in my case it's asking me to reload because i've already have i already have it installed uh, but it has just upgraded so i'll do that and once this is done it gives you a very quick and fast way of working with markdown syntax easily the first thing that you'll have to do now is let's say you have a project let's say you are building some javascript application and you want to put it on github also and one of the first things that you want to do is uh, create a readme.md file md stands for markdown so inside your project let's just set up a folder first so here i have a folder and i'm going to start by creating a file called readme.md md stands for markdown now the moment you set your extension as .md the extension that you've installed the markdown all in one comes into four it recognizes that you are going to work with the markdown syntax and it enables the ability to see that document uh, in real time as you're formatting it right so over here you have this icon here called open preview to the site click on this and what you're going to do what you're going to do is write out your markdown here and you'll see the result in real time uh, over here so let's see how this works now let's say i am building some application and i have to put down some uh, some instructions some documentation for people to see when uh, you upload this on github because remember when you go on github when you go to your repo page uh, the readme.md file if it's there at the root of your project at the root of the repo uh, is going to be rendered as an html document um, over there so uh, always include a readme.md file and you have to use the markdown syntax so the first thing that i'm going to do is put a headline a headline can be done by putting a, a hash sign so we'll say hash shopping app now you can think of uh, you can think of this um, somewhere as an h1 in html so if if i were to do an h2 then i just have to put one more of this and you can see that the the font size goes down so likewise you can uh, keep doing this i'm just going to stick to what i would sort of call as an h1 and this looks pretty good here right always leave an empty line after every statement in your markdown file right so that's good formatting now the next thing that i want to put is is, is some kind of text here so you you don't need any special syntax for this you'll say uh, something like this repository contains a shopping app um, built using the mern stack uh, please follow the instructions to set it up okay so that appears as standard normal paragraph text if you were to think about it in terms of html i leave one gap and now i want to put features so features goes like this but if you want to make the features text bold then you can do this so add two asterisks here and then close it like so this will render as bold text you can even see it in the editor here and you can see see it in the preview here as well right 
Uh, an easy way of doing this, uh, because we have the extension installed, is to just select this and do a command B on a Mac, or I think it will be a control B uh, on, on Windows. You'll have to check the documentation, but essentially how you uh, work in Microsoft Word, you'll get a lot of those features in VS Code for working with Markdown if you have the extension installed. Next up, I want uh, what we usually call in HTML as an ordered list, which is just a list of, uh, a numbered list of items. So for making a list, just start by putting a number, uh, press tab and just start typing. So let's say you have some, some uh, you know, features to your application. You, you create the first one, press enter, you'll see the second one is automatically created for you, uh, all thanks to the extension that we have installed, which makes it really easy. So let me just drop a few. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put a hyperlink. So how do you put links in a document, right? In your HTML document, you have your anchor tag. How would you create an anchor tag in Markdown? So the first thing that you would require is the text that you want for that link, the text that will show up on the page. And then the other part is the hyperlink itself. So for creating the text, just uh, create square brackets and we'll say, okay, this is a link to a working demo for the application. So this is how you would create the, the text part that will be visible. For the hyperlink, uh, right after this, create uh, a pair of brackets like this and we'll say that this is where, let's say myapp.com or whatever I want the link to be, I'll put it here. So you can see that it, it now becomes a hyperlink, which is, you can click on this and uh, this would take you to whatever link you set here. Okay. Uh, let's also do a block quote. A block quote will look like this. And uh, yeah, this is purely optional. You don't need it, but just in case. Next up, I want some instructions. So once again, one, two, three, and we'll say ins instructions goes like this. Now I, for the instructions, I'll say, okay, uh, instruction number one is clone the repo and run npm install. Now here, npm install is a command, is something that you would want to put on the terminal. So in order to highlight that, you can enclose it within your, uh, you know, a pair of tildes like this. So tildes or backticks, whatever you want to call them. These are not single quotes. These are uh, these symbols which appear right besides the number one key on your keyboard, right? So this highlights uh, this portion as you can see here. Okay, I'll create one more instruction and say from the app from the app folder. Sorry, from the app folder, run npm run dev, and you can see now that the instructions look much better. Now I want uh, the next thing that I want is this, I want to create a horizontal line. So for that one, two, three, three, uh, three of these hyphens generates a horizontal line. You can see that much of these things uh, are similar to what we work with in HTML or in Microsoft Word. And, and the reason for that is that HTML documents are, uh, are essentially modeled after formatted uh, documents that used to come out of word processors. So, uh, and Markdown does the same thing, right? So here the, the intention is not to make an application. The intention is to write documentation and uh, you can see that without using any software, any specific software, I mean, even if you just do this on in, in Notepad or any of your simple text editors, without the need for any kind of fancy extensions, even then a Markdown file works, as long as the extension is .md and as long as you use the right syntax, you have your Markdown. All right, uh, now next up, I want to put some code here. I want to put some code uh, blocks. Now, this is where uh, markdown really shines. So let's do a command B. I'm on a Mac, so command B uh, for making the text bold. So we'll say uh, the first function, I want to drop some functions here, right? As code examples, maybe in uh, in the documentation. So we'll say uh, calculating some sales ratio function, right? Some fancy function which does something. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to, I want, I want to drop some uh, JavaScript code. <clears throat> so let me write the code first. Okay. So it's an async function, calculate 
ratio. You don't need to understand what this function does. It obviously does nothing. Uh, the idea is to show you how you can represent code uh, in your documents. So let's say we have something like this. Okay. Now see how the, the code shows up on my page uh, in the formatted markdown. This obviously doesn't look right. Okay. Uh, you can see here that we have formatted code in the markdown but over here when it renders and this is how it's going to show up on github as well so obviously this doesn't make sense but if you enclose this in this i'm going to put this on the next line and the other thing that i would do is uh, now you can see that the code looks much better. So if we enclose it in, in these code blocks, as we call them, you can see that the code looks much better. And we can go one step further by, say, by telling Markdown that this is actually JavaScript. And now you can see that your, uh, your code is colored as well. You get this color coding as well in your document. So this is really, really cool. Uh, depending on the language, you can just tag the language along in a code block and you're good. So another example, uh, for this would be let's say we want to drop an HTML segment. So let's say we'll say here uh, HTML for a dialog box. Okay, so let's say we will create some HTML for a dialog box. Uh, so let's again create a code block and close it off. And in the middle, we'll drop some HTML. So let's say div class is equal to dialog. No, whatever, it's just arbitrary HTML that I'm building, uh, nothing specific, but you'll notice in a moment how uh, the formatting comes into play. So let's say action needed. And let's say we have a paragraph which says, do you wish to continue? Yes. No. Okay, so right now it looks plain. It looks just like, uh, you know, well formatted. It looks like code, but it's not formatted correctly. So we'll just say HTML here. And now you can see the, the color coding comes into the picture as well. This also comes in handy in situations where, uh, let's say uh, for my next example, I'll say running a cleanup bash script. So when you want to represent a terminal script, uh, you can do things like sh for shell and then if you say sudo exec cleanup let's say this is some some hypothetical uh, command that you would want to run on the terminal again you can see how well this is coded so this is uh, what we can easily do with a markdown markdown can also be exported to pdfs to html straight away and in a lot of cases uh, people are also using it for rapidly creating content that is ultimately served by uh, blog applications on web pages so as an author of the content you would write the content like this because it's so easy to do that you don't need any software you just upload this file and it'll show up as a properly formatted web page on a website right so there are mechanisms for doing that there are frameworks that allow you to do that um, so markdown is great uh, you should use it uh, especially if you're working with github you need to have a readme.md file at the root of your repos, which outlines what that repo is all about. And it's also, it's critical. I mean, if you, if you don't have it, then uh, your repo is something which people will not understand. They will not understand what uh, a particular application does. So include as much of documentation as you can on uh, your repos uh, using the Markdown syntax. So hope this helps. Try and use Markdown in your work. Thank you.